interested in man-machine voice communication for over four years. Although the research is by no means complete, we would like to show you some results obtained as of autumn 1968. Our work is based on the analysis and classification of speech waves, waves representing the changes in air pressure caused by our speech. This is a display of the waveform for the phrase, please Analysis of such a wave poses many problems. Notice that it is impossible to say where one sound ends and another begins, or where one word ends and another begins. In normal speech, sounds and words flow into one another with no apparent boundaries. Thus the phrase ice cream is ambiguous. So, for the time being, we restrict ourselves to the recognition of a limited set of isolated words or phrases, or a few simple constructs made out of these. For the purpose of analysis, we break down each utterance into quasi-linguistic units. This is an example of the analysis performed by the computer for the utterance 7, the real-time operation of the program by means of two examples. How are you? Pick up the big block at the right side. This illustrates the operation of the hand-eye ear program. The whole program takes about 75,000 words of core. It takes about 15 to 30 seconds from the time the command is given to the time the operation is completed. Pick up every small block. Unlike the previous example, where the utterances were recognized as a single unit. Here, the commands are analyzed by recognizing individual words within the sentence. For this, we require that the sentence should be not only syntactically unambiguous, but that it should be possible to determine word boundaries unambiguously, and that the words themselves are phonemically unambiguous. Pick up every block. There are many problems that remain to be solved. Although individual hand-eye-ear programs work correctly over 90% of the time, the additive nature of the errors makes the combined program less reliable. If we wish to recognize several speakers reliably, at present we must train the system with all their voices. Language design for man-machine voice communication has proved to be tedious and should be automated. These and other problems will be solved within the next few years. And although we may not be able to speak with machines as incoherently as we can with people, a cooperative speaker will probably be able to speak to computers in simplified English 